Hey, welcome. And as you can see, today we're talking about 2001 A Space Odyssey. And we're asking the question, what technology did this 1968 film actually end up predicting and that we're in fact using right now? It's rather well known that several NASA engineers have called 2001 A Space Odyssey, quote, the most thoroughly and accurately researched film in screen history with respect to aerospace engineering, unquote. But did you know that Stanley Kubrick consulted with over 50 organizations for the technology that would be in the film to try to accurately predict what might have been around several decades in the future? First, Let's look at what really appears to be an iPad or a tablet device of some kind being used by Dave and Frank in this scene on their Discovery One ship on the way to Jupiter. The iPad was first released in 2010 by Apple, and you can really see the similarity here. Now, we don't know the extent of what the tablet can do in 2001 A Space Odyssey, but they appear to be watching videos on it, something you could also do on an iPad over 40 years later. The next modern technology we see in 2001 A Space Odyssey is called biometrics, which is a unique characteristic about you, like your fingerprints or your voice patterns that can be used for identification purposes. And here we see Floyd arriving at the space station and they use voice identification to identify him, almost like a passport. What's your name and initial? Moon, American, Floyd, Haywood R. Thank you. You are cleared through voice print. Next, we see what appears to be a video call as Haywood Floyd calls his daughter from the space station, obviously showcasing a pretty advanced technology since it not only shows video calling, but this one is actually from space down to Earth. So it must work pretty well. Video calling is obviously very common nowadays, whether through Zoom calling on a laptop or just from using your smartphone. Also notice there appears to be flat screen technology on the walls behind Floyd. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I can't. Why not? Well, you know, Daddy's traveling. Very sorry about it, but I just can't. I'm going to send you a very nice present, though. Now, one of the main characters in the film is the HAL 9000 supercomputer, which obviously represents AI or artificial intelligence. In the years since 2001 A Space Odyssey was made, AI has become more commonplace with programs like chat GPT that can automate tasks, and image generators like Midjourney that are widely used by digital artists. So although Hal seems to have more human emotions like doubt or distrust, he was definitely one of the first representations of artificial intelligence. Now one technology we see in the film that is actually a reality now is suspended animation or cryonics, where several of the astronauts are put into a sort of deep sleep for the long space voyage to apparently be woken up at a later date. And indeed, at facilities like Alcor in Arizona, there are people who after death are suspended in liquid nitrogen at very low temperatures, so no decay is taking place. Now, so far, none of the people who are frozen have been woken up again, but apparently they have to first find a cure for what killed them before they can do that. Now, the next one may seem a bit odd, but I noticed the astronauts are eating what looks like a frozen meal that might have been heated up in a microwave, but it definitely appears to be highly processed food you can't even tell what it was originally by looking at it. So overly processed food seems to be something that was predicted by this film too. 
because in the decades since 2001, a space odyssey was made, we've only gotten more and more processed food. Some people would say the amount of overly processed food in our diets is the cause of many of our modern health issues. Lastly, this chess game that Dave Bowman plays with Hal does seem like a very early version of a video game, though of course it's chess as opposed to something with many characters, cutscenes, and an open world environment. Chess does show up in other video games in more recent times. Here you can see one of the Mortal Kombat games that had a chess component in it, and here's Alice Madness Returns, where one of the mini games also featured chess, though the number of players isn't necessarily the same as a standard chess game. This game also has amazing music and atmosphere as well, one of my favorites. Interesting side note, in the movie The Thing, made some years after 2001 A Space Odyssey, it also featured a game of chess played by the main character, R.J. McCready, against a computer, a film with absolutely amazing atmosphere too. But when Mac loses the game, he accuses the computer of cheating, curses at it, and pours a glass of whiskey on it. It's interesting because in 2001 A Space Odyssey, Hal also apparently cheats during the chess game, though I don't think Dave notices. So, to sum up, 2001 A Space Odyssey was known as a thoroughly researched film for a reason, and some of the technology in this movie has definitely become commonplace today, such as the tablet or iPad that the astronauts appear to use, and the video calling that Floyd does in the space station. Also, that biometric voice recognition. AI is the biggest thing in tech and flat screen TVs are everywhere. Cryonics has advanced in the years since 2001 was made and video games have gone from the simplest graphics like Dave and Hal's chess game to be one of the most popular forms of entertainment on the planet. These are just a few examples of the technology that was predicted in 2001 A Space Odyssey. Now, before we finish, I have to mention some of the technology in this film that definitely did not happen, at least not yet. The moon base is the most obvious one. Of course, we've been to the moon, but we haven't set up a permanent base there yet. Also, the manned mission to Jupiter. We haven't had a mission to Jupiter yet with people. Not sure when that would happen. Well, that's my new video about the technology that was predicted by 2001 A Space Odyssey. Hope you liked it. I know my voice is a little scratchy. I really apologize, but it's kind of the dead of winter in New York City, and that's just everybody seems to have a cold. I don't know what to tell you. It is what it is. Also, I realize I've never told you my name. You can call me Shim. My name online on places like Instagram or Twitter is Shimmering Path. I'll try and put some links in the description, but uh, it's not really about films, but you're, it's just personal stuff, but you're more than welcome to come over there and say hi if you want. As always, thank you for spending time with me and have a great day. The men in hibernation. Does this ever cause you any lack of confidence? Let me put it this way, Mr. Raymer. The 9000 series is the most reliable computer ever made.